just have a yeah. quick question. Um, yeah. You really have to speak up for sure. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I just have a quick question. You were talking a lot about uh, heard the seminars uh, you did in the university or in. I used to have seminars. Yeah. Well, you talk about the technocracy. Yeah. And you were. A, a I was a member. Board. You yeah. were a member of that. I you used to be. Yeah. Could you could you elaborate yes. on that? Maybe? When I went to California, this guy that flew the airplane that didn't bomb Minions Shorts, he didn't know why. He found out after the war there was a book called Arms and the Men, and he was a member of technocracy. He said, you would like technocracy because it wants to use science and technology to advance culture. You're a medium. And they did use science and technology for government. And I thought that was wonderful, so I joined right away. Yes. But after a few weeks, the meetings were very good. And they were about technology. Mm -hmm. So I said, I don't see any blacks in the organization. To Howard Scott, he was the chief engineer. He said, well, let them start their own section. Now that bothered me, see, because I couldn't defend technocracy then. Then I said, how about Orientals? I don't see any Orientals. He said, he was sincere about it. He said, the Oriental mind can't grasp technology. Now, don't forget, when I was a kid, all the Orientals wore pigtails mm -hmm. and a little black hat and the button suits. They were all black and they had their hands in their sleeves and they all behaved alike, just like Irish kids behave like Irish kids. Well, Italian um, kids like Italian kids. Do you understand that? And, so, um, I could see that maybe after two or three generations, the Orientals would be, hey, you know, hey Mac, have you got a cigarette? Just like we speak. He said, no, the Orientals are different. So I resigned because I could not defend that. Do you understand? Yeah. I asked a lot of engineers when I worked for the aircraft company to come and listen to Howard Scott. He was the chief engineer of technology. He spoke at the Shrine Auditorium to thousands of people during the Depression. So I asked Italians and Greeks, they were all different as ours that worked at the aircraft company, and he attacked the Italians. He said, the well, goddamn Wops brought the mafia from there. Italy, you know. I said, well, that's, that's a certain small group. He said, no, the Italians have inclinations along the line, and the Jews are inclined toward money, and the Irish are inclined toward becoming alcoholics, and the Polacks are dumb, because the Polacks believed in the cavalry. I will talk to them. Horseback. That's a, that's a and the Germans were eating war tanks. So they wiped out the Poles very easily. Because they could didn't make the change. And, um, you understand? Yes. Anyway, I resigned because I could not defend it. One more thing. On the application of membership in technocracy, there was a word called race. And that bothered me. Because I knew in New York all kinds of kids interested in the science of different when yeah. you take them away from I'm their little group, they, we, they become no, international. So I used to work on kids, making them international and general science, you know. But mothers, when they saw me coming down the street, they pulled their kids in the house. Can you understand that? Okay. Like schools. When they find out what I talk about, they try not to invite me, because you can't manage students that are well informed. Can you understand that? I understand why they do it, and, uh, but I don't <coughs> think that they're very bright to do that. They should not be afraid of ideas and not be afraid of criticism. But you have to know what criticism means. If a person comes up to me and says, I don't like your system, I can't do anything with that. I said, what is it that you don't like about it? Well, the bricks that you use are not strong enough. That's good. You know. But if they say, I don't like your system, or it'll never work, I can't deal with that. Because mm -hmm. people used to say, man will never fly, he'll never get to the moon. Yeah. Just say, I don't know enough about the subject to evaluate it. Yeah. Isn't that, wouldn't that be more proper? Mm. Exactly. I don't know enough about it. Not man will never get to Mars, not in a thousand years. That's an opinion. Yeah. That's, you'd think the guy had studied space science for years, and he came up with that, but he didn't. So <clears throat> the danger is <coughs> giving people the right to their own opinion. 